and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for Gaming with GS. Today's video is going to be focusing on League of Legends and talking about a topic that's very important to the game. And a lot of people in the community don't really know much about this topic because, I don't know, it's because the role is so unpopular, nobody likes the role, the role is hard. But we're going to be talking about supports and the different type of support lanes and how to play against different type of support lanes to know all about your type of support you are and about other types of supports and how to beat them what they're good at, what they're bad at that's basically what we're talking about and we're gonna break this up into three categories the poke lane supports, the uh, kill lane supports and the sustain lane supports now first we're gonna start with poke lane since the this is the least complicated and is the easiest so we're going to get some footage right here, talk about it a little bit, and hopefully you'll understand it a bit more. So as we just saw, I'm playing the uh, Sona support bottom here, which is a, a prime example of a poke lane, and we just got a lot of damage off a of vein there uh, with our Q and with our passive. And that's kind of the bread and butter of poke lanes. Uh, it depends on what type of lane you're facing. You're going to be playing passively or aggressively, so it's sort of a medium lane. Sometimes you'll play passively, sometimes you'll play ag aggressively. If you are facing another poke lane, it's doing very well. You may want to play a little more passively. But if you're facing a, a kill lane specifically, you want to play aggressively because you want to get that ADC down to low health so that when the support actually tries to engage, the ADC is not going to follow up because he's too low to go in. So that's the goal here. Uh, you have long range, high damage. That is usually what makes a, a support a poke. As we see, we get Vayne really low on the turret here. And uh, with your long range and high damage, you want to make them retreat. Make the, make the enemy retreat into the tower. And if you can get them low enough even, then you want to go ahead and also um, make them go back to their base. At the same time, you also want to have good ward coverage. As we saw here, Nidalee tried to clear our pink ward. We also got some good damage off of her. She probably won't be back down here for a while. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, the, the the counter to poke lanes is a sustain lane, as we'll talk more about in the next section. So if you're if you're in um you know if you're playing ranked and you see that they have a sustain support and you see it's a sustain lane and you're picking support, don't pick a poke lane because more than likely, um, you're probably not gonna have too much of a good time because. You, Poke lanes are countered by sustain lanes, and we'll talk more about that later. But if you see that they have a, a kill lane, such as a Leona, such as a Morgana, a Blitzcrank even, uh, those are kill lanes because they have high CC, and they'll force a fight on you, and the ADC can quickly go in, engage, and get a quick kill. But with a poke lane, you're able to poke them down slowly, which forces them to retreat, which forces them to not engage as heavily as they would have if they had another support. So, poke lanes are great against kill lanes and uh, high engage lanes that, you know, are high risk, high reward. And right here, this is a perfect example. Morgana has to make a play to Q me, but look, Vayne's not going to engage because he knows he's too low. He knows I have a Q coming, he could lose that fight. So, that's pretty much all about poke lanes. Uh, besides Sona, you also have people like Bard, Karma, Lulu. There are several supports out there. Uh, some mages can even be played as uh, poke lanes. But uh, you want to be careful with that because a lot of people may not like that. But that's pretty much the gist of a, a poke lane. Hopefully you understood that. Let's go ahead and move into the sustain lane now since that is what counters a poke lane. So that'll be a good transition. Now for these next two pieces of footage, we're going to have a Nami and a Misfortune and an Alistar and I forget what else it is. We're currently just viewing the current footage. But... For your next two pieces of footage, the video quality is going to be a little low. This this came right off of my Twitch stream. I don't really know how to get full quality yet on um, the recordings. Maybe my settings are misconfigured. I just started streaming, so apologize for that. But it should still be clear enough for you to see what I'm talking about. But here we have a sustain lane, Nami and Misfortune. And sustain lanes are pretty much going to be playing passively for the most part. Um... Their, their main focus is healing and shielding. Most sustain lanes either have a really good shield, have a really good heal, or have a really good way to sustain your ADC and themselves to stay in lane for a long time. And that's basically what it is. As a sustain lane, you want to heal, you want to shield, and you want to outlast the other support and ADC in lane. You want to outlast them in lane so that you can have more CS than they do. And... 
that's kind of what makes them really strong in late game. While while, su while supports that are poke lanes have a really early game you know strength because you know they can bring out a lot of damage early on. The opponent may not have a lot of defenses. A sustained lane is really strong mid game, late game, where you know they have the CS lead, where they have the tankiness, they have you know the damage now, where they can really do some damage. So I'm not gonna lie, sustained lanes can be pretty boring. I I. Personally, I hate sustain lanes mainly because I just don't like how they're so passive and they're kind of boring to me and and a lot of times you're going to have a hard time because if you think about it sustain lanes don't really have any, you know, majorly great engages, especially in a matchup like this you have an Ash and a Karma. You know, even if Nami were to land a bubble on one of them, if I were to go in, I'm going to get poked down by either one of them. And if you have an engage lane, like, you know, Leona, then she's basically going to be going in and then also getting poked down. So, in going against the poke lane is hard, but you're supposed to win the matchup. Um, sustain lanes are weak against kill lanes, though, and the main reason why is because, you know, if you have a Leona or a Morgana or a Blitzcrank that pulls either the ADC in or that pulls either, you know, your support in, then they have high DPS and they're basically going to burst you down. Even with your... um. Sustain, sustain is really good against only poke because you know you can you can constantly heal yourself from the poke, but you're not gonna have such a high sustain that you can you know heal massive burst at one given time. So sustain lanes are weak against kill lanes, but sustain lanes are strong against poke lane because you can outlast them in lane, and you can also gain more CS than them. So if you see a poke lane. You can either pick another poke lane and try to do very well against them, or pick a sustain lane where you can sustain your way through the game. Um, one important thing is to know how to dodge and watch mana levels. You know, mana levels are really crucial. If you see that the enemy poke lane has low mana, you can make something happen. If you see your jungler is coming, you can make something happen. So this whole time we've pretty much been standing behind minions so far and trying to you know sustain ourselves, poke a little bit here and there, and here we have um, actually. Rambo's come down for a gank, and we actually get a kill on Ash, and we're actually also going to get a kill on Karma. So, you know, looking for those opportunities, you know, knowing when you can make something happen is really crucial. As long as you don't feed as a sustain lane, you should win mid-late game. So, that's mainly the key point there. Other great sustain lanes uh, that are great for bot lane supports are people like uh, Janna, Soraka, Tarek, Nami... And obviously Alistar as well, which we have here in the uh, next clip. And here we have a little less traditional ADC. Uh, me and my friend are trying something bottom Malzahar ADC. But you'll see that he just took a lot of damage and I'm able to sustain him very well with my um, E. So, I mean, as you can see, while I'm continuously healing him, he's continuing to CS. Slowly we're gaining a lead. Slowly, you know, eventually we're going to be ahead of them. Playing a sustain lane really requires that amount of patience so that you're able to slowly get ahead. And, you know, if you like that sort of playstyle, then, you know, it, a sustain lane is great for you. But just to recap, you know, sustain lane isn't as easy as poke lane, which is why it took a little longer. Um, you know, sustain lanes are great against poke. You're able to sustain yourself, but they're weak against high DPS and high burst, such as uh, kill lanes. So now we're going to go ahead and go on to kill lanes, which is the last one. And we'll see how those work out. So here we have some footage for a kill lane, which uh, I'm playing Leona, or a classic um, kill lane champion. And as you can see, we're, we're facing a poke lane here, actually, a Nami and Ash. Now I know in uh, the previous section we said Nami was a sustain, and I actually just want to touch on that subject a little bit. Uh, some supports can be two roles. Uh, some supports can be sustain supports. Some can be poke supports. If we look at Sona specifically, I mean, she has a heal. If you were to max your heal first, then you would be, you know, more of a sustain support because your heal is going to be healing more than your Q will be doing damage. However, um, how I usually play Sona and how a lot of Sonas usually do play is maxing the Q first. So they're considered a poke champion. In the uh, last piece of footage you saw, we had um, my friend playing, well, it was my girlfriend, actually. <laughs> my girlfriend was playing a Nami, and, you know, she sh she's playing Nami more as a sustainy type of champion, especially in that matchup, because I, I told her, you know, going against two poke champions. So I told her to play sustain more. So, 
but this Nami here plays more poke. So I just wanted to get that out of the way because for some of you who don't know, you know, the support role very well, you can be, well, not all supports can be two roles, but a lot of times you do have an option to play your role more of a sustained way or more of a um, poke way or more of a kill way. Alistar, for example, is great at being sustained, but, you know, if you see that he can also be a kill, support because he's able to do his uh, wq combo to get high cc and set something up so it really depends on how you want to play but um let's go ahead and get into the uh, kill uh, phase right here the uh, kill supports now a kill support is they're going to play very aggressively the reason why they're going to play so aggressively is because they want to get in and get quick kills they have a lot of burst damage especially here i have a vein and <clears throat> you know the goal here is for me to go in CC them hard, and Vayne gets quick kills. That is the goal here. So, <clears throat> uh, kill supports, which is right here. We see I go all in here, get the ultimate off, get the exhaust off. I try not to take so much damage. We get the ash, and, you know, very aggressive lane. That's what kill, kill supports are supposed to be. They're very aggressive. However, they're also... Um, while, while they are high DPS and high CC, they're also very high risk. If you don't know what you're doing, then this can be a very hard support role to play. Because people like Thresh, people like Blitzcrank, people like uh, Leona, you know, <clears throat> they're fun to play because you can play aggressively, go all in, and, you know, really set up some awesome plays. But if you make, you know, a wrong move then it's going to punish you hard uh, for example if you go in with leona on say you know um a sona and an ash if you're going to go in sona's going to pop her ultimate ash is going to kite you and if you get close to her she's going to use her ultimate and then you can basically die so you have to be smart when playing kill supports um so their weaknesses however uh, their weaknesses are weak to CC, but pre-engage. Before the uh, kill support engages, you're going to be weak to CC. If you get CC'd before you can engage, you're probably going to take some damage. And that's why they're also weak to poke. As you saw earlier in this piece of footage, Nami and Ash did a lot of damage to us. And that's because, you know, typically kill supports or high CC supports, you know, some people like to use high CC or kill supports, they are pretty weak to getting poked because, you know, they have to go all in. If they don't go all in, if they don't play aggressive, they're going to be playing passively and slowly getting poked down. So they are weak to poke. However, if I may be a little, you know, a little braggy here, I play a very good Leona. Leona is one of my main champs. That's why we're kind of winning this matchup. You know, usually a Nami and an Ash would usually win this because they have so much poke. Um, but I do play a very good Leona. Um, so... But generally speaking, a kill kill lane supports are weak to poke lanes, and they are a strong against pretty much everything else. They're strong to sustain lanes because sustain lanes don't have much damage, so you know you can actually go in and just burst them down real quickly. Uh, some other uh, kill lane supports we have Leon already, uh, Blitz, Thresh, Lux. Those are all uh, great kill lane supports as well. And uh, the last point I want to bring up is, you know, even though some supports may not seem, you know, so enjoyable to you, like for me, sustain lane supports aren't, you know, I, I don't enjoy them very well. The most important thing to remember is that you don't need kills to win. Um, as, if you can get them low enough, especially if you're playing a poke lane, you know, a lot of times poke lanes, you know, won't be able to get the kill, but they'll be able to poke them down really low that will force them to go back. So, you know, sometimes poke lanes can't really get the kills, but, you know, as long as you get them low, as long as you deny CS, deny experience, you know, anything that you can do to deny them something, you're doing your job well. So don't, don't just say, oh, you know, I like this support because I can get a lot of kills. Yes, kill lane supports do tend to get a lot of kills, but be aware they're also high risk, high reward. Um, poke lanes are a lot more safer and sustain lanes are a lot more safer. Uh, you won't be getting as many kills, but you can still accomplish a lot. So don't just, you know, don't just judge a support based off of, you know, how many kills you're going to get with your ADC. 
There are a lot of great supports that don't require a lot of kills that can just get the enemy really far behind, whether it's far behind in CS, whether it's uh, far behind in experience and levels and objectives and objectives. That's what you have to remember. So that pretty much wraps it up here. Uh, that's basically it for kill supports, poke supports, and sustain supports. I hope this video really helped you out. I tried to make it as detailed as possible. I tried to um, mention everything that I know. Um, just a quick recap. If you're playing a poke lane, you're, you're generally going to do very well against a kill lane. Unless, of course, they're really good and you know, you're just getting outplayed. But generally speaking... If we're, if we're talking on the same skill level, um, then poke lanes generally beat kill lanes. Poke lanes generally get beaten by sustain lanes. Sustain lanes generally beat poke lanes. Sustain lanes generally get beaten by kill lanes. And then kill lanes generally get beaten by poke lanes. And kill lanes generally beat sustain lanes. So it can be confusing and complicated. Hopefully I said all that right. Otherwise we're going to have to go back and re-edit it. But that's basically the uh, the general you know, idea. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. And we're going to make more League of Legends videos. And I wanted to get this video done for a while now. I need to collect a bunch of footage. So, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment below as well and give some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I usually try my best to answer those comments within the next 24 to 48 hours, depending on how busy I am. I also have plenty of other content on my channel about different gaming tutorials, as well as general gaming videos for Guild Wars 2, League of Legends, Minecraft, and any others that you may be interested in. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe too would really appreciate you can also check out my other channels and social media that show on the screen right now and with that thank you so much everyone and this is gs man smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere